Les Paul once said, the guitar is full of surprises. If you play the piano and hit a key right there, that note is fixed on the keyboard and never moves. But on the guitar, that note is everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. So I don't know what spurned it on. You know how sometimes you have memories and they're fragmented. The only thing I remember is being in a Daddy's Junkie Music, which no longer exists, unfortunately. It was sort of like the Guitar Center before Guitar Center existed in New England primarily. But I was in this guitar shop and I was in the very back left corner and I remember seeing the guitar package. It had the guitar, the amp, and the guitar cable. The brand was Court. It was an off-white S-type guitar. And I remember when my dad bought it for me, I brought it home. It was like the equivalent of receiving a PS5 today. And growing up, I was kind of like an only child. My nearest sibling was seven years older than me. So the guitar sort of turned into my Buddy that I would hang out with all the time. And I remember, like a lot of people, it was kind of an on and off relationship there for a minute after I hit the first wall of discouragement that everybody runs into. But eventually, I couldn't put the thing down. I wasn't just listening with my ears. I could feel the notes with every fiber in my being. I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. Even though I was just plunking away, it sounded like magic to me. Our first guitar is our most important guitar. It's the guitar that introduces us to the world of music and this very special instrument that, for some people, shapes their entire life. When this brand called Donner, who makes inexpensive guitars and inexpensive guitar packs for beginners primarily, they reached out to me and they asked if we could work together. I started thinking how we possibly could because I'm kind of in the realm of gear that is accessible to intermediate and advanced players. I'm not necessarily in that beginner's realm when it comes to gear, but I was browsing their products and I was like, I remember when I got a guitar pack like this. It had the cable and the amp and the guitar and how exciting that was. And I just decided to take a little stroll down memory lane. So this video is sponsored by Donner. Thank you to them for sending this pack out to me. And basically, I'm just gonna kind of relive the feeling of getting that guitar pack and kind of thinking through how I was going about playing the guitar from the very first thing that I played all the way up through my progression and where I ended up ultimately today. So it'll be sort of like a tone test meets memories of 12 year old Tyler of yesterday. I'll leave links to the Donner products down below if you're interested in securing your own beginner pack for yourself or maybe somebody who hasn't yet begun their guitar journey. This is a great option. I've already shot the video so I can attest to the quality of these products. And without further ado, let's get to it. No matter how inexpensive a guitar is, I always had the same amount of excitement when I'm about to open it, if I don't know what it is. A box, within a box. Okay, whoa, pretty sick packaging here, look at that. Electric guitar. All right, let's open it up. We have got, whoa, the amp is in here. So basically, this is what I bought at Daddy's Junkie Music Way back in the day, I should say, my dad bought little 12-year-old Tyler. Uh, this is a much nicer packaging, and the amp is much smaller. I bet it sounds a lot better than whatever I had. I mean, this is so fun. Look at this. Whoa! Got a guitar strap. I don't think my guitar came with a strap when I bought it. Nice little strap here. What is in here? A tuner? Dude, this thing is stacked with everything you could want. It even comes with its own battery outside the package so it doesn't die in shipping. Nice touch there. Oh, we got guitar strings, a guitar capo. I seriously just thought I was getting a guitar and an amp. This is, this is excellent. I mean, this is like the bag that never ends. Uh, we got a guitar cable here. Wait, there's still more stuff in here. Oh, whammy bar. Gonna use that for sure. And what's the last thing? Oh, we got some maintenance tools. Oh, and picks. Who could forget guitar picks? This is like the ultimate guitar kit here, man. This is pretty unreal that you can get all this stuff for that price. Okay, the moment of truth. 
Got the gig bag. Let's open her up. Oh, I didn't choose what color this guitar was gonna be, and if this is the color that I think it is, this is gonna be really weird. If it's if it's an off white, that was my first guitar was an off white court S type guitar. Dude, this is seriously, I did not pick which color, I just said this is the pack that I would like. set up here I got the uh, fat strat it turns out this has a humbucker in it that's awesome I think my original guitar when I first started playing did not have a humbucker in the neck uh, just had single coils so this is gonna make this thing a lot more versatile especially on the higher gain stuff and then of course the way this feels feels great doesn't feel like a hundred dollar guitar at all full disclosure I did check the intonation when I was tuning the strings up and everything checks out this is set up really well I don't know exactly where it came from uh, I assume this is obviously built in China but I don't know what the journey was from the manufacturer to here but whatever happened in the shipping process did not affect the playability so we're gonna put it through its paces and as you can see here the amp set up I just have a little 57 we're gonna have no effects going on just simply capturing the sound of this amp there's no EQ settings on the amp which is nice especially for somebody just starting out they don't want to be confused by all those knobs the distortion does offer a tone setting as well as a gain adjustment as well as its own volume knob so let's see I think the first thing I would have played on my first guitar would have been something like this That sounds pretty good. Maybe I would learn some chords after that. I'd probably say, what does this switch do? Woo! That humbucker's a little hot. Of course, from there, I would immediately get bored with the clean sound and try and move on to Guitar Hero sound, which I associate with gain at this point in my very early playing career. I think I would have learned power chords at this point. <laughs> That's a pretty nice sultry gain sound actually. I think at this point, after I learned all my power chord and riffage, I explored guitar solos and I still remember the first few notes of a just a basic guitar lesson guitar solo. It wasn't by any band, it was a guitar solo that I learned from my first guitar teacher who I have no idea what that person's name was, but I still remember these opening notes. It was just called A Minor Solo and it went something like this. I can't believe I remembered that. I haven't played that since I was 12. It's exactly how it went. And then the chords were something like... Yeah, that brings me back. Holy cow. Something about this uh, this color guitar, this whole beginner pack setup, I mean, it literally, I haven't thought of that since I sat down to play this guitar, and it was still in there. 
What's the first riff you ever learned? Leave a comment, I would love to know. Was it something from a song or was it just a made up guitar solo? See if you can remember it, just play it without even looking it up. Uh, see how close you can get. Pretty fun challenge. So I think up to that point in my guitar playing journey, I got the sickness as it were and uh, started looking into guitar pedals and other types of guitars and things like that. But I never forget where I came from. This kind of beginner guitar, which Obviously, as you can hear, it sounds great. It's perfectly good for anybody starting out or somebody like me who just wants to pick up a guitar and play. It stays in tune. The little amp sounds good. I mean, these pickups sound cool. There's a lot of different sounds you can get out of them. Way better than my setup, I'm sure, uh, and for probably less than I paid. So I think that uh, the last thing to do is shred the shit out of this thing and see what it can really do, what it's really made of from 12-year-old Tyler to now.